All right, take two. <laughs> so, so I have a question for you guys. Have you ever had anything happen in your life that's so absolutely perfect that you're convinced it has to be some something happened for a reason, it was meant to be for a certain reason? Maybe it's something not necessarily a fun thing, not a good thing, maybe a bad thing. I'll tell you a couple stories that I've experienced. and uh, You should throw my job in there, the job offer I got. Oh, tonight. yeah, right, yeah. right. Um, well, I was I was working on this this house, and I just got done lifting the toilet off a of cement floor. So this big old hole in the in the floor where the drain is, and uh, just a short time later, I picked up a hammer. All of a sudden, the head flies off the handle. It bounces across the floor, and it goes right down that drain. And I said, "How could that happen? How could?" I mean, it's weird enough that the head of the hammer came off, but why would it go across the floor and go right down that drain? So I'm, I'm like, what am I going to do here? So I reach my hand as far as I can down that crappy sewage hole, and I can't reach the thing. So I'm thinking, well, i got to get the head out of there. I can't just put the toilet back and leave the hammerhead down the drain. It's going to cause me some major problems. So I'm thinking, well, I need a magnet. You know, I go to a local hardware store. They didn't have anything. And then I go in the little grocery store in town. They had one of these little shake-up flashlights, and thing's got a big old powerful magnet in it. And the uh, thing is, the the flashlight was all busted up. So I said to the lady, I said, "Would you uh, would you give me a good deal on this thing since it's broken?" So I think she let me have it for like four bucks, and I was able to take the magnet out, put a string on it, I threw it down that sewage hole as hard as I could, and I happened to hook onto that hammerhead. I was able to pull it out. So. I just thought, you know, does God have a sense of humor or what? I mean, what? Well, it's amazing. It's amazing how a magnet like that on a flashlight. Well, these these are cool little flashlights. By the way, if you ever get one of these, if it doesn't work, um, try turning it off and shaking it for up to two minutes. Sometimes they come back. There's a magnet, by the way. Very powerful magnet. Wow. Anyway, so so I got this other story. So this other time, <laughs> there's these, uh, I let my friend's kids come in here to play around with my magnets and some of my electronic stuff. So this one time, they come in here, and I had a customer's TV here. It was a great big Sony TV. Of, what, what, what size were they? Were like 32 inch or something like that. Anyway, it was a big set. So I was letting the kids play around with the magnets in front of the TV, and I had this set of speaker magnets all stuck together on a string, and I let them spin it around and hold it in front of the picture tube and watch the colors smear every which way. And I have a degausser, so I was able to demagnetize. It wasn't a big deal, but it was really entertaining for them. So I heard this this bang noise, and I realized that the magnet had hit the, the glass on the customer's TV. And I said, hey, you guys, take it easy. And I didn't think that much about it. And then later that evening, I looked at the, the picture tube. I noticed there were two chips in the glass. I'm like, oh, boy, I'm in, I'm in trouble. I, oh, man, what am I going to do here? This is not going to be a cheap tube. I mean, back then, Sony TVs weren't cheap. And I figured if I'm lucky, if I could even get the picture tube for this thing, we're probably talking about 500 bucks. So I know I'm thinking, well, you know what? I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab my Dremel tool, and I'm just going to, like, carve that thing out. I'm just going to, like, it's a chip, but it didn't go all the way through. The picture tube still works. So if I just kind of grind it and grind it, maybe I get it to uh, to look halfway decent. So I'm grinding away, and... I get get to the point where it's actually starting to smooth out, and then I realize, well, I got to buff it. So I go down the street. There's a um, a glass shop, and I asked the guy. I told him what happened, and he says, "Well, look, I can loan you a buffer wheel and some compound. You can see if you can buff the thing." So I get back to the shop. I'm buffing this thing, and it's actually working. It's starting to look smooth now. And so I'm working at these two two nicks that are in the tube, and now it's starting to look really smooth. But there's a problem. It's got like this big dip in the glass, and I'm. I'm picturing what it's gonna, what the customer is gonna think when he comes to pick up this TV, and it's no longer a smooth face on the glass. So I realize I'm in trouble here. I'm gonna have to do something about this. I thought, well, maybe if I buff some more. And so finally, you know, it's like three o'clock in the morning, and I'm really starting to hate these kids, you know. And I had to, I had to stop that little demon in my head from getting carried away because I realized it wasn't their fault; it was my fault. I shouldn't let them play with the thing. So I, I got over my anger and I just kind of chilled out. Went to sleep for a few hours. Woke up early in the morning, anyways, and I um, I'm in here working away again with a buffer. And all of a sudden, a friend walks through the door. They just got in from Las Vegas. He says, "What are you doing, Dave?" And I said, "Well, I'm I'm trying to trying to get the 
picture tube to get smooth here, you know. I explained about the chip and everything and the kids. And he says, Dave, that's not going to work. And I said, well, yeah, well, I, I think I can get it. And I'm buffing some more. And <laughs> he says, Dave, you know, I think I've got that picture tube. I just brought one back from Las Vegas. And I'm thinking, no, I, no, I don't think he's going to have this exact picture tube. So he says, Dave, why don't you just give me a little time. I'm going to see if I brought it over to the other shop. I'm gonna, I think I've got the picture tube you need. And I'm thinking, no, no, with all the picture tubes out there, what's the chance that he's going to happen to have the exact picture tube? I said, what, what, what's the circumstance that you'd have this t tube, Dan? He says, well, I, uh, the TV got hit by lightning. And the picture tube is one of the, a pretty rugged uh, gadget, whatever you want to call it. He figured it probably survived and it, it had some value, so he brought it to the other TV repair shop in town. He says, I'm going to go get it. Anyway, he, uh, he gets back here. And it's the perfect picture tube. I mean, it matched up. I couldn't believe it. I said, Dan, this is incredible. What? How often do you get a picture tube like this? He said, I've never had this picture tube before. And I said, this is a miracle. And he said, well, Dave, the, the TV gods are watching out for you. So the numbers and, and all matched? Yeah, everything matched up. And oh, I, wow. You know, I thought, you know, you can write that off as coincidence. And it, sure, we, we get some lucky coincidences in life. But sometimes, I don't know, sometimes... We, Things are just too perfect, you know, and, and sometimes not. Things things couldn't go worse, too. So, I mean, um, just oh, thought I'd no. share that story. Oh, here comes a fire no, no, it's fire cops. truck or cop saved by the <clears throat> saved by the siren, I guess. Anyway, hope you like the story. Thanks for watching.